this video we are going to discuss about the impedance matching of microstrip transmission lines or feed lines. As you know that impedance matching is the most important factor that can affect the performance of your designed antenna or radiating system circuit. So let's learn that how we can define or calculate impedance of the microstrip transmission lines as per the requirement of your design. Let's take an example of four elements array antenna in which we have four values of impedance at different positions. Uh, you can observe that values of the 50 ohms, 70 ohms and 100 ohms impedance at different positions of transmission line. So let's check that how uh, we define these three types of values in our design in CST. Simply you can calculate the impedance or you can define the impedance in CST studio. Just go to home and click on macros and from calculate you have to simple calculate the analytical line impedance. So you can calculate the impedance of simple coaxial cables or coaxial transmission lines and simply you can also check uh, the impedance for the microstrip feed line. So just click on thin microstrip and you can just calculate the impedance of simple microstrip feed lines. So these are the different factors that can affect uh, or you can say that these are the different factors in which you can define the impedance of your transmission line. So the first one is the frequency and our antenna is going to operate at uh, 2.45 gigahertz. And second one is the height and the relative permittivity. So these two factors are the major factor that can uh, define your impedance. So in our case, as we are going to use simple FR4 substrate and its height is 1.6 mm, right? And its relative permittivity is about 4.4. So the third thing and the only thing uh, is the width of feed line that you can change to adjust your impedance, right? So if uh, its value is simply 2 mm and then you can calculate its value of impedance, then it is going to provide the impedance of 63.56 ohms, right? So uh, by adjusting the value of this uh, width of feed line, you can easily adjust the value of impedance. So in our case, uh, when we have uh, uh, used uh, these three uh, feed lines, WF which is 3.08, WF1 which is uh, 0 0.7 and WF2 which is 1.64. So these are the different value of the widths of the feed line in which you can, uh, you can achieve the 50 ohms, 70 ohms and 100 ohms impedances respectively. So uh, let's check uh, that uh, if we put the width of feed line is equal to 3.08 then you can just check that it is going to provide us the impedance of around about 50 ohms. So that's why uh, for defining uh, the impedance at uh, impedance of 50 ohms at these two points uh, we have just adjusted the width of feed line is equal to 3.08. Similarly, uh, WF2 which is 1.64, uh, it is going to provide us the value of basically 70 ohms. So that's why we have used uh, the value of width of feed line is equal to 1.64 uh, where we achieved 70 ohms impedance. And similarly, uh, the value of 0.7 is going to provide us the impedance of 100 ohms. So that's why we have used WF1 is equal to 0 0.7 and uh, at these uh, uh, points we have achieved 100 ohms impedance. So that's how you can easily calculate or define uh, the impedance of your uh, simple feed lines or the feed lines of the radiating system circuits. Uh, so if you like this video then uh, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for our latest videos. Thank you so much.